Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to another episode for NotAnalog.com. Today I'm looking at, it's not a laptop, it's not a tablet, it's kind of the combination of the two and it's taking your mobile world and putting it into a laptop type device. It's called a Samsung Chromebook. Now Chromebooks are being made by other manufacturers, not just Samsung, but this particular model was one which I brought into review because it's the first Chromebook I've actually looked at. Now what a Chromebook really is, is it's a device that relies on you being internet connected pretty much the whole time. Now, a Chromebook deviates from the word Chrome, which is a browser which most people are using nowadays. If you use a Google account like Gmail, you do a lot of Google search, Google Calendar, Google Docs, you kind of already know about a lot of these services. And that's really what Google has put into a Chrome operating system. So this device does not run Windows, it does not run a Mac operating system or anything like that, it runs Chrome OS. So it's a completely new operating system and it's very basic and very light because all it wants to do is get you on the internet, open up your browsers and use all of Google's services which are all on the internet. So you don't really need software on the laptop, in fact I don't even think you can install software on here, it all is Chrome applications. Now, if you use the Chrome App Store, there's a lot of applications to choose from there. A lot of them are web apps, so it's things which, again, you need an internet connection for. Now, the device itself, it's 11 inch, 11.6 inch screen, um, and for a screen of its size, which is quite small, it's got a very good resolution of 1366 by 768, which is quite good. The detail is great. When you turn it on, it's very quick. It takes a few seconds to turn on. It's so fast, it's not like what Windows is. And, uh, and it's so simple. Now, uh, looking around the laptop, on one side, nothing. On the other, on the back of it, two USB slots, one being USB 3, you have a HDMI connector as well, which is good for connecting to televisions and things like that. You have the charging port. On the other side, headphone, microphone jack, and an SD card slot. Simple stuff. Now, when you actually open the device, it looks just like a normal laptop. Um, it's got your touchpad, full-size keyboard, screen, and a 0.3 megapixel webcam, which isn't very, very good, but it does the job for Google Hangouts, Google Talk, things like that. And, um, and it only weighs about 1.1 kilos. It's really light, and you can see it's also very thin. It does have the specs of a tablet. It doesn't have the specs of a hardcore laptop. And the reason being is it just doesn't need to. It relies on the internet, so you're only using internet services. No big hardware crunching required. It's very simple. Now, obviously that has its pros and cons. Now, straight away you can say, well, you know, I can't use Photoshop on there. I can't install my Adobe Premiere suite and things like that. I mean, yeah, there are some things that you can't do on this device which you normally require a Windows or Mac computer for. Absolutely, there are limitations to it. But when you think about your day-to-day -day usage, which for me, email, Facebook, Twitter, I'm looking at the apps I've got open right now on my Windows computer, and it's all web stuff. I actually have no software actually open except for Chrome. And again, I can do that all here. So why, why would I go and spend thousands of dollars on a laptop when all I'm going to do is use Chrome anyway? And there's so much that you can do. The Google Docs, Google Spreadsheets, Google Slides for PowerPoint. There is a lot of services that Google has created to allow you to not need the software anymore. You really can depend on just the internet. Now, one of the surprising things with that is that because this device is so heavily dependent on the internet. Um, it's got Wi-Fi, of course, which is handy because you need to connect to the internet with that. It doesn't have a um, RJ45 connection to connect like a hard wire in, which is a bit interesting. And it doesn't have Bluetooth, so you can't tether with a Bluetooth modem. And it also doesn't have a 3G SIM card slot, which to me was the most surprising thing because I know that a tablet can take a 3G SIM and you can then go anywhere in the world and use it on the internet. This one doesn't, and I'm sure that there are 3G versions available, but I think that's a huge downside for something that is purely internet dependent, that I can't plug in a, a USB modem into it. I can't do that because the software on the modem won't install on Chrome OS, and I can't put a SIM card directly into the device to connect to the internet. I think that's a huge downside because without the internet, this really is a paperweight. There is not a great deal you can do without it. You can sure you can view pictures and things like that, and you know, look at things from your SD card, but that's really not what it's all about. And that was surprising. Besides that, it's only got a two cell battery in it, which does make it light, but I was able to get about four to five hours of, of usage, which is very good. Um, watching YouTube continuously, no problems, no lag, no nothing. It, obviously, if your internet's bad, it's gonna be bad. 
Um, it's got two little speakers on each side here. They're not groundbreaking speakers. You're not going to host a party off this laptop, but they do they do okay for personal usage. That's why you've got the headphone jack as well. Put them in. It's going to be a lot better. Uh, besides that, it's great. The touchpad works fine. The keyboard is great. If you actually look at a MacBook Air side by side with the Chromebook, you'll see some similarities, like a lot. And uh, besides that, it's it's really handy. It's one of the devices that I wasn't particularly crazy about at the start. But now it's kind of made me question as to why we go and spend big dollars on a slow Windows computer when you don't actually need to. You really have to think about what you're watching now is YouTube. You don't need software for that. If you've got Facebook open, if you're using Twitter, if you're shopping online, you don't need any of the, any of the crap that Windows are putting into their computers. You don't need any virus software. There's so much that you sort of think, why am I doing that? Interesting thoughts. It retails for 350 bucks in Australia. You can find it less than that. I've definitely seen it on many websites for less. Shop around Chromebook. It's a new way to internet, I guess. It's, it's just different. Check it out. You really need to check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.